Got to clean and dry out of burner. Very really retracted the landing gear. Press control your go profile. We need another cycle. There we are. XB1 is supersonic. I think this is a healthy aircraft. Pretty disturbing to see how we set it up. A good friend, Nick Sharika, who's down on the fence line, but, but Greg, Greg, over to you. But, uh, you can see him here, all three of them in line, heading down to... ...independently developed civilian supersonic aircraft. XB1 is supersonic, faster than the speed of sound. Control We've got confirmation first. from the control room that it, she is supersonic. What a wonderful achievement. She's coming back down. Geppetto and the whole team know you what a really historic down. moment this is. The first civil aircraft control. independently constructed. On set of the shockwave when it actually hits my flutter excitation system and the load. And just to see the team, they're absolutely thrilled we can see here. And there we are, supersonic again. Knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. Uh, that are going to enable us to go on the vehicle, making sure that we are much along the same line as our uh, first supersonic run. Yeah, an indication to supersonic. <laughs> we are now <laughs> supersonic three times on this flight, um, which is quite uh, unbelievable. Evaluations of all three axes, so uh, there will be a pitch input. And really, we just see how the aircraft, you, know, you, you put a disturbance in it, and how it's approximately Geppetto uh, and shake hands uh, after a successful mission. Point. The last landing gear test point in the probe. It's both a structural test point. Today was just a, a huge, huge day. This is uh, the first civilian supersonic flight in 22 years. Uh, the first time a civil supersonic jet built in America has uh, broken the sound barrier. Test control, there's one minute left in the cycle. Yes. Initially, we'll fly right under the speed of sound over land, which is still 20% faster than a Boeing or Airbus. And over the water, we'll open up the throttles and go twice as fast. The, the longest flight flights in the world tend to be the ones that are transoceanic, so that's where we're starting. Airliner of the future. Flying at twice the speed of sound, it will hop the ocean in... This is a quantum leap of sorts to be able to... ...input, and, you, and really what this is, is to see how the aircraft... You know, you know XP-1, much like the Concorde, when flying on approach uh, at slow speeds, they're very... Low.